everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Abby Shuto inspired outfit that is a basic closet costume for almost any goth. So in today's video we will go over the outfit, the accessories, the makeup and the hair of Abby Shuto to create this outfit. It was actually really simple and really easy to do. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I am making only Halloween themed videos during the entire month of October and I would love to have you here for every single one of them. And if you haven't already, you can still enter my giveaway, my Halloween giveaway. I will link it somewhere around here. But now without further ado, let's get started with Abby Shuto. First of all, the outfit. This was actually super simple for me. Except for this lab coat, everything is just a normal piece of my wardrobe. I am wearing a plain black t-shirt that is just from H&M. I'm wearing a band apparel pleated skirt and then I am wearing my trusty platforms. For accessories, of course you have this lab coat. This is optional, but it really does finish the look. A spike collar, of course, because Abby wears them all the time. And then also a spike or studded bracelet. These are the staple pieces that Abby always has. The makeup is also very simple. Polly Perret, the actress who plays Abby Shuto, actually has an insider clip on YouTube of her makeup. She only wears a tiny bit of foundation with sunscreen underneath it because they're outside in the sun the entire day. For the eyes, she uses a simple black eyeliner pencil that she lines the top and the bottom with, then she smudges that out. She also uses mascara and a brow product to fill in her brows. For the lips, she uses a lip liner first and then a coat of lip gloss on top of it. And her secret is to use that same lip liner that she uses on her lips, on her eyelids to blend it out and give a more smoky look. And that's basically Abby Shuto's makeup. For the hair, Abby Shuto's signature hair look are ponytails. She has high ponytails, low ponytails and ponytails that are braided. Today I decided to just go for the high ponytails. I know my hair is a bit fluffier than Abby Shuto's hair, um, but that doesn't matter. I think the idea is just to have similar looking hair and not be an exact copy of that character. I'm super happy with the outcome of this look. I personally really love it and it had been on my to-do list for a very long time. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. During the entire month of October, I will only be doing Halloween themed videos. So uh, please subscribe if you want to keep up with all of them. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.